Hi, I'm Pat, and today I'm going to show you how to wear a thumb pick and Dobro finger picks. So this is something you need to learn, or at least try out, before working on your right hand technique. And although you can play with bare fingers, I still strongly recommend that you try to wear picks, and especially if you want to play bluegrass. I think it would be much harder to get with bare fingers the type of percussive sound you get with picks. Uh, also, I think it's easier to start off with picks and then try and get with bare fingers rather than the opposite. And you know, it's totally normal that they feel awkward at first. That's how it felt for me too. Uh, but after a while, you get used to them. And now I can even imagine playing without anymore. So that's why I recommend that you at least try to wear picks and then you can always decide later on uh, what you prefer. So let's go to a close up and I show you the basics of uh, putting on a thumb pick and double finger picks. Okay, so let's start off with the thumb pick. I'm using the Zuki's L10, made by Jim Dunlop. Zuki's L10. And I made a lesson called What Dobro Accessories You Need, where I talk more in depth about thumb picks and figure picks brand and all that. So make sure to check it out first. Now, the way I wear my thumb pick is like this, right? With the tip out on the left side of my thumb, that is, if you're right in it, of course, otherwise it would be the opposite. And I put it about here, you know kind of in the middle of my nail and you know some people would put it more here like this or you know it just depends on your thumb size and also it feels most comfortable for you so you know try to experiment a bit with that but either way it should be tight on your thumb right not too tight or it will cut your blood circulation and it will probably be very painful but you know it should not be too loose either or you could end up having it spinning around or even dropping into the floor so you know that's what I recommend a snug fit on your thumb and I think you're good to go now for finger picks I'm using this Dunlop finger picks made of silver and nickel I'm using a 0 0.020 for the index see 0 0.020 for the index and for the middle I'm using a 0 0.018 right there you go. And again, check out my Dobro accessories lesson where I talk more in depth about all different types of finger picks. Now, the way you wear a finger pick is like this. Right? This is how you wear a finger pick. And you don't want them backwards like this, right? This is a common mistake. When people are starting out on the Dobro, they put it like this and, you know, th that would be backwards. So. This is how you put on a finger pick. And the cool thing with metal finger pick is that you can tighten them up here, right? And you can also shape them to your finger size so that they're tight on your fingers. And again, make sure that they're tight. Not too tight, yet not too loose. And you know, you just have a bit of the tip extending above the fingernail. And again, th there are different options here because some people like to keep just a short part of the tip um, protruding out and some prefer a larger part. And again, that's something you have to experiment with. Also, some people would bend the tip more like this or, you know, more, more straight. And, you know, again, this is just a personal preference. I, I personally leave it like it is straight out of the box and you know that's what I will recommend for you as well if you never tried out finger picks before so you know just for information this is about how I keep them see there you go this is how I keep them and and you know try to experiment with that and and find what is the most comfortable for you Okay, now, once you wear the finger picks, you want to make sure you don't get a scrappy sound with them, which is very easy on the lowest one strings if you plug the strings at an angle. Okay, so start off by picking the fifth or fourth string with your index. And if you have a scrappy noise, you might want to either, you know, bend your wrist just a little until it cleans it up. See? Okay, so try to adjust your, your wrist a little or you can correct that on picks directly and what you can do is either bend the pick tip uh, at an angle see this part here you can try to to bend it uh, with a needle nose plier or something or 
what you can do is to adjust the finger pick on your finger directly. And what you do is you rotate it just a bit. Let me see if I can show you. You see? I rotate it just a bit. I'm not sure if you can see. But basically, you, instead of putting it like this, you, you rotate it like this. See? You rotate it like this so that the tip face gets parallel to the string when I pluck it, right? And you can repeat that with the middle finger as well. Okay, if it's, if it's, if you hear scraping noise, just rotate it like this, right? And then you try until you don't hear any scraping noise anymore. So, you know, it might take a bit of time until you've adjusted the picks the way you want, but, you know, make sure you don't get stuck in bad habits, you know, with an awkward right hand position, you know, or a weird scrapey sound coming out of your instrument when you plug the strings. Okay, so once you know how to wear a thumb pick and finger picks, you're ready to learn how to position your right hand and then practice some basic right hand technique exercises. Or if you want to learn some left hand technique, you can check out my lesson on how to hold the bar and from there you can start learning the basic straight bar major course. So hopefully I see you in any of these lessons. Uh, until then, have a good one. Uh, once again, I'm Pat with learningwithpat.com. Uh, if you dig what I do, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate the support and uh, I see you later. Thanks. Bye bye.